Hello everyone, it's Karen from Be Creative. I am excited to be back in the one of a kind group on Small Business Saturday. So it's Black Friday, it's small business, it's all shopping, and I'm gonna demo too. I'm gonna do something fun. I didn't have a kit for you this time because I know that there's just a lot going on with the week before and during Thanksgiving. Uh, hope you had a great time with your families or your friends or whatever it was you were doing. We had a great day, but we're excited to be here with you. I've got my whole family helping fill orders this weekend while everybody's home. And we're going to show you the deals. So what I'll do first is I'm going to demo uh, and show you just some fun ideas and some fun things you can do for card making. You know I'm all about technique. You know I am. So I want to show you some fun things you can do and apply to some of your card making or scrapbook layouts or otherwise your paper crafting, even like your Christmas gift tags and other types of gifty projects you can apply this to. After that, I wanna go through some of our uh, great Black Friday slash Cyber Monday-ish deals on our website at shopbecreative.com. And we have a special category for uh, Black Friday. And uh, yeah, I'll just go through and show you all the good stuff. I'll kind of voice over and we'll scroll through it and you can see what we have going on. If you're not on our email list, I really encourage you to sign up because then you'll be the first to know not only when we have you know sales, which are fun, but also when we're having events like this one, when we're coming up next or have a kit available for the event that's next or when we're gonna be at an in-person show or just anything, news, classes, all that good stuff. If you go to our webpage and just go all the way to the bottom, it's uh, there should be a subscribe to our email list. If you have issues with that or you just you don't see it or whatever it is, you can always message me directly. I'm just Karen at shopbecreative.com and I respond to the emails that come to me. So you can do that too. But let's get into um, the demo project and then we'll get into the deals. Okay, it's demo time, but I want to first start with um, a reminder. If you didn't do this project with us earlier this year, we either have it as a kit or we have the stamp and the die on sale in our Black Friday uh, category on our website at shoppycreative.com. We also have a two-pack of the red and green marker I used to do this project on a fantastic Black Friday sale as well. So wanted to mention that. But first, I'm going to do cards and I'm going to do, no, I'm going to do a card. I'm going to do an 8 by 8 layout and I'm going to do a really quick and easy fun ornament. I'm going to start with that. So I've got an ornament here um, and I've got foam stars. We have different foam shapes on our website, but the foam stars is one of my favorites. Let's open this up. And what all you need to do this is it gives you two packs of the foam in here. I've got some gold foil. We also have foil on say, sale in our Gemini, um, not Gemini, Gemini foil on sale in our Black Friday category. Where are my scissors, you guys? It's already starting. I've lost stuff. Wow, here it is. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. And these scissors are also on sale. They are my favorite because really nice detail, but Teflon coated so won't stick to the adhesive when you're cutting through it, which is important because like Cutter Bee, they're not nonstick. You need that Teflon. So those are great too. We have them in different sizes, but the mini is my favorite for the detail work. Okay, so I've got this little ornament. Um, I've got some snow. It's been a hot minute since I've actually crafted, right? So I pull off the top on that. I'm going to do a little snow. I should have a funnel. Do I? I don't. I don't, so I'm gonna make a mess. So I'm going to put a little sparkly snow in here just for kicks. That's kind of fun. Just a little bit of snow, right? And now I have snow all over my surface. You know what I need to clean this snow, which I don't have. Um, but <laughs> this is what reminds me. We also have this on our Black Friday sale. It's the Glitter Cleanup Cloth. It's slightly tacky. It's got the consistency of cheesecloth, but with a little bit of like dental wax mixed in. And it picks up all this stuff without any residue, which is really fantastic. Okay, so I've got Mr. Ornament. I'm going to put uh, the little topper back in like this. And I bent him all out of shape. Do you ever do that when you do ornaments? How many of you do ornaments? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know if you're ornament crafters. Okay, so I got a little cute snow going on here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take, I'm going to do a couple stars. So what am I going to do? Uh, there's outlines and there's filled in. 
So I'm just going to lift them off of the backing like this and punch, punch them out like this. Do, 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 do. So how was everybody's holiday? Hopefully you had a good one. We had a house full of people, some related, some not. Whole Motley crew. It was kind of fun. I think we had 14. I can't really remember. I've lost track because it's all been a blur. I'm going to pull up a couple more stars here. Maybe I'll do one up here. And, you know, you could take um, a silver or gold writer and write a name. You could do something like that, too. So I've got these foam stars here. I'm just going to peel off the adhesive, exposing the sticky. This would be great for place settings for your holiday table like Christmas holiday I'm talking where you put a little like pine thing to nestle the ornament in and you put somebody's you know like Aunt Mary or whatever and that's where she's sitting uh, it's would make a great place setting on a plate with the napkin and the whole thing that'd be super cute super cute people would be impressed all right so all I'm going to do now is put my foil down good side facing me bad side kissing the foil and I'm going to lift I'm going to put it down press and lift it's as simple as that to get that really fun I know we've foiled before but see and if you miss a spot no biggie go back over it boom like that I could go in and clean that up and make it all pretty so that is a really easy and fun ornament to do okay so that's first oh my gosh forgot to put the ribbon because that's you know you gotta finish it you gotta finish it so I'm gonna just cut off some ribbon I love using a black and white like check or gingham on my projects at the holidays because I just feel like it gives it like it's almost like you could take it like country, which I'm not really a country girl, but you could take it country with that, with the pine and the burlap and that whole thing. Or you can take it more like a shabby chic with like white naturals and more of a minimalist sophisticated. Okay, well, that's easy. You don't even have to do a bow. And that looks like it's done. There we are. The next thing I'm going to do is a little 8x8 eight eight layout. Of course, this could be turned into a card or a bigger layout. Uh, I've picked out these papers. I'm kind of doing this on the fly. I don't even have a sample. So what I'm going to do first, though, I'm going to start with my uh, Gemini Mini. We do have this on a phenomenal Black Friday deal. And um, I like this because, yeah, it's manual, but it's so portable. And sometimes you just need to cut a little thing and you don't want to get out your big old electronic cutter. I also want to mention, we have brand new from Totally Tiffany. This was just released a couple weeks ago. And we have these as singles or as uh, deals in multiples or deals with magnetic storage pages and... Um, pockets to store stuff. They're called toolboxes. This is the five by seven. So it comes in all different ways on our website, but here you can see on the package, they're showing how you can store your mini Gemini mini cutter in there, manual die cutter, along with your tools and your dies and all that. So that's pretty cool. Very sturdy, has the box insert. Um, so very sturdy toolbox, a little bit different than a buddy bag. Wanted to mention that. That's the five by seven that'll hold that Gemini mini. Uh, and there's also 9x6 and 9x4 slim line. So lots of choices. So I've got this. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some nesting dies I have. Um, here's the package. This comes as part of our mystery bundle. We have several mystery bundles. One of them, well, two of them say die bundle. One is like a fancy and one is more of a plain. And there's multiple dies in the bundle for a phenomenal, I think it's like 70% off a of retail. It's really crazy. So anyway, I've got this rectangle. This is a great foundation die, basic. As you know, to do, like you need to cut your picture in a particular shape or the background paper to match in a particular shape and you can nest it out. But I can also use it to do some cool like frame out techniques. So looking at this, um, I think I'm gonna take this guy here, this guy here. Hopefully you can see, I gotta see what I'm doing here. Got to stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, right? I've got my nest. I've got my paper cut to size. Um, the little folder is all you need. It's like a plastic shim, and it comes with the machine. You also get a purple shim if you need that, too, depending on the type of die you have. So you have everything you need in the box. I believe it's on sale for, gosh, $34, $44. Phenomenal deal for this machine. So I've got my 
um, my paper, I've got my plate, my little shim plate. It's like a folder, it's like an embossing folder. And I've got one of my little doodads like this. I'm going to line him up like that. I should have like pixie tape to hold it down, but I can't find it at the moment. All right, so I've got this here. I'm just going to feed it through. And it's got the suction cups on the bottom, so it'll stay put, which is great. I'm just going to feed that through, boop -ba doo like that. Let's see how that turned out. Oh, that's fantastic. Here's my die. So I've got that. Now, what I can do is then go one or two more in. Like, here's the next one. Maybe I'll do another one in like this. And I'm going to put him back in the sandwich. And it's okay that it cuts in the plate. Totally normal. Don't want you to be alarmed by that. And I'm going to, here's where I do need my, like, pixie tape to anchor it down. I'm going to do, like, this kind of a thing. Boop. So I'm eyeballing this for you, but you get the idea. You want to kind of anchor it down so it's even. And I'm going to send him back through like this. So easy. And now I've got a frame, right? I've got a really kind of cute frame. Now I could have done the paper in the, a different orientation, however you want to do it. And then I could do, if I want to do another frame on the inside, say in gold, I can do that as well. I'm going to cut this a little smaller. Um, actually I have my card paper trimmer. This is another really great Black Friday deal. This is my favorite little trimmer. Sometimes you just need a little trimmer. You know, you don't need a big trimmer because you're doing card making. You just need to trim your photo. You need to trim a little piece of paper and this will absolutely do the trick. So that is great. It is the little mini trimmer. You'll see that in our Black Friday sale. So where was I? I'm back to this. So I've got this little guy and I'm going to go ahead and take, you know, another nest, let's say. And I can do that. I can actually double it up at the same time if you I want. I was just showing you like the steps because sometimes you just need to see the steps. Let me pluck that out. So you can do this kind of a thing too. And you can uh, tape that down, which is what I should be doing. But again, I'm not doing that. It's okay. So I can kind of do this kind of a thing. Boop. Throw him through. Easy, easy. And now I've got another little shape cut out. Not perfect, but you get the idea. And then what you can do, let me move this out of the way, is your, you know, you can build however you're doing your layout. If you're doing stripes, um, where'd my frame go? Like this kind of a thing. And if you want to do, you know, picture in a picture and a baby picture and you're doing like several at a time, you can do that. Uh, let's see, what else? What else should I do here? Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Let's color. I have a holly here. Let me find it, and I can color that and add it on. I've got, like, holly. I've got... Let's just do a little coloring. Why not? This is using that holly stamp set I mentioned. And where are my pens? Here are my pens. I've got... This is the two-pack, the alpine red and the dark red shades. A tri-blend marker has three distinct pens on each one. So you've got a light, mid, and dark tone. You're all set to go. I'm going to do a little um, palette blending with it. So what I'm going to do is da, 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 light green. So I'm going to color in my light green like this. So easy, right? I do need glasses. I do need them. I don't have them. And that is one of my goals for the new year. I hate doing that resolution thing, but I really do need reading glasses because I can't see anything. It's okay. So I'm just going to get, even though I tell you that you should work in small spaces so the ink stays wet, I'm kind of not doing that right now because it's just, it's a little tiny holly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill him in like this, avoiding Mr. Berry's. And now it's just such a small space to do a traditional blend. I'm going to do the palette blending. So I got an acrylic block. Came in with a little red. Touched those berries. A little white Uniball Signo to add white space back in. And then to blend out how I did that green, once I put that light down, I took a either a, an acrylic block or a like cellophane from a kit bag. And I put a little dark down. I picked it up with the light end. And I'm coming in 
to the base and I'm painting that dark on to get that dark to light blend. It's, it's very helpful when you're working with smaller spaces where you just don't have a lot of room to do the blend that you can drop it in and then it just kind of exits the pen the more you color and then you can wipe your tip and keep working it. If you'd like to see me do some more coloring type videos later, like next year in some of the, in the one of a kind group and some of the um, projects or whatnot, please let me know in the comments if you think coloring would be fun, if you'd like to do more of a project based coloring thing. Okay, so that's good enough. I could put a little sparkle on that if I wanted to. Little sparkle, sparkle, doop, 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 little shimmer. Um, and then I need to fussy cut him out. So I'm just trying to be all things today. Like I did a little coloring, we did a little die cutting. You get the idea. This is nothing fancy dancy, but I thought a demo would be fun because I know we're all kind of, I know I'm a little worked from the holiday and we're packing all the orders that are coming in. So it's just been nonstop in our household and we have our two adult daughters home. One is halfway through school halfway through college and she's up from San Diego and the other is uh in grad school in New York and we flew her home for the holiday too because we're like you have to come home you have to so yeah she came a long way so then we can you know if I wanted to mount this down now let me talk about how I like to mount this kind of a thing so this prod uh product is on sale also in the adhesive category of the Black Friday section of our website the sticky folio by we are memory keepers can you see that there we go sticky folio it allows you to do really fine type die cut sticker intricate things and put adhesive all over really handy um, and i think what's fun about it here i've got one in turquoise as well is it's got the little you know strap to hold it closed it's a way to store it because a lot of times if you have any kind of sticky sheet it will excuse me it will um be all over kind of you know and actually I just opened this and there's nothing in it so let me go grab that I have one over here open oh they're all empty that's great because I keep using it so I'm going to open the new one is what I'm going to do and then you'll see what I'm doing but this guy is on sale I want to say 14 something what a deal right okay so I've got him I'm going to open him up and so you'll notice let me get this down on my workspace here. Here we go. So it comes with the tweezers and the smoother type thing to help you lift and tweeze and all that. So let me get that out. You can see what we're doing. Da, 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 da. So you take, it comes with a bunch of sheets in there. You take one sheet and you're gonna put it uh, in this way and it kind of locks in. So you've got that. So now what we're going to do is peel that open. Ooh, right. And I've got this guy. I've got this guy. I've got, where'd Mr. Holly go? I lost him. Here he is. This guy too. And the thing is, you know, one of these sheets, so my, um, you know what? Oh my gosh. I put it in backwards guys. You can tell that we do all this without the heavy editing. Here we go. You gotta have the sticky leg down, so the dots should be towards you. Okay, now we're set. Okay, so peel this, let's do that again. Here we go, the sticky is here, nothing is here. I'm gonna put this down, and I can nest them if I want, it doesn't matter. Oh, what I was saying was, so um, my demonstrator, Mary, she used one of these in, um, I think we were in um, a show in Chicago area, and um, I'm just going to take this and smooth this out to get the adhesive down. So she was able to do like 50 and still had adhesive left over on the sheet for the whole day's make and takes. It's crazy. So anyway, I opened this up, and I've got, whoops, I've got the adhesive down, and then it's really easy to take your little tweezers, lift it up, and look at that. I've got all the lovely sticky on the back, even the most intricate, this little stem. Look at that. Look at the sticky. It's going to make it so easy for me to stick this down anywhere. Great for intricately die cut things. 
So now, however you're doing, like I promised a layout, but you know, we got to get to the other card. Actually, it's more the gift pocket holder I want to show you. So anyhow, you could do multiples of these and do a whole layout thing with different frames. You've got Mr. Holly. I just really wanted to show you that. So hopefully that inspires you to do some nesting. You could do nesting with the same color of paper and nest it out different like nests of the same leaving a space between that would be kind of fun but let's get into the next demo okay one more card uh i'm going to do like a gift card or a lottery ticket holder type thing so let's start with the card base okay so i've got a card i'm going to make sure you can see what i'm doing here okay so we got mr card base like this um, I've got this little piece of paper. How do I do paper trimming? Because I am lazy and I don't measure. So here's what I do. I take two sides and I go, hmm, how, like, how much of a border do I want? And I make sure the borders look about right. And then I'm going to take any kind of a pen and then I eyeball and I go, okay, it's going to be here. And then it's going to be here. So I take it on the two sides. I take my little trimmer my little card trimmer and where did I mark I marked right there and I trim and I marked right down there can I see it yes I can that's why I used white so you didn't have to you couldn't see it and it's not perfect but it's pretty darn close right pretty darn close so then I'm gonna take my adhesive runner And just a little bit of adhesive on the back, nothing fancy, just enough to anchor it down for you guys watching. And we're going to put that down. Do, 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 do. And then I do want to cut out like a frame. So I've got this little cute piece of wintry paper. I've got my folder. I've got my paper. I've got my die. I should be taping this down, but I'm not. That's okay. I'm going to feed that through. I should have trimmed my paper a little bit more, but that's okay. Throw that through. Boop. All set. You hear the suction cups working. And there we go. I have this trimmed out. So that's another way to go if you don't want to paper trimmer it. So I've got that. Actually, I could make it more of a frame too. So I take the next size die down. Let's put this back on the screen so you can see. And I'm going to put this die, how far do I want to do it? Again, I'm eyeballing this. It would be good to measure and tape. Boom, close enough. There we go. Throw that in. Okay. And let's see. Oh, cute. So I have square. I also have a frame. So I have two things I can use. We don't waste, right? So I've got this. And then this can go down. I'm going to set that aside, though. But what I want to make is the gift card holder. So I've got a doily. Just get a doily. Uh, what size is this doily? I want to say it's like a 5 by 7 type doily. Well, that's not the right measurement. But you know what I mean. It's like that diameter, I think, is 7. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to first fold it in half like this. Match up the little ruffles like that. And then I need to like measure my gift card or my lotto ticket or whatever it is I'm using. So I want to kind of make sure I have space. So I'm going to like go halfway, probably like about here like that. So I'm going to do that on one side and the other side. Make sure that fits. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm going to fold that like that. Now I just need a little bit of tape to anchor it. So now I've made a pocket. You can leave the pocket like this because it's kind of decorative. Or you can flip it over if you want to put your sentiment here. You could do that. Uh, let's see here. So I'm back to my card. What do I want to do? Maybe I'll do it this way. But I do need to close the bottom. Otherwise, the gift card's going to um, go right through. So I kind of forgot that step. Let's open him back up. Not a big deal. And I'm going to put a little adhesive just right here so it won't fall through. I need a little more here. I always flip them upside down. I'm a lefty, you can tell. So everything's like backwards and upside down. Okay, so we got that, that. Uh, let's see what I want to do. I've got a frame. I've got this. 
I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't know if this is actually going to be, I could maybe do like this, like this, and then add like some kind of a, if I had a die cut or a sentiment, I could probably do that. And I can anchor that down. And then I pop my gift card in. But regardless, that's a fun way to do a gift card. I can do something on the front. I could do the gift card on the inside with the cute pocket. Just wanted to show that to you because I thought it would be lots of fun. Now, but beyond that, let's get in to some of the Black Friday specials. So let's talk Black Friday bargains. You go to our website, www.shopbecreative.com. B with two E's, and you'll see on that main page, whether you're on a desktop or a mobile, you'll see it says Black Friday sale. Just click that image, and it's going to take you into the Black Friday page with all the different categories. The categories are adhesive, organization and storage, coloring and stamping, glitter, foil and stickles, tools, and mystery bundles. Those are all the different categories. So let's look at adhesive to start. We've got some really great bundle buys on things like uh, Art Glitter Designer Dries Clear. We've got some score tape bundles. We've got a really great price on the Sticky Folio, which is what I showed you in the video to do all over adhesive on anything, even the most intricately die cut images. Uh, the Easy Runner Grand, the, which is a great tape gun. As um, In addition to that, we've got the refills in like a bundle set at a really great price. So that's adhesive. So then let's take a look at the organization and storage bargains. Those Most of these are going to be like totally Tiffany type unique bundles. So first off, you've got that limited edition Raspberry Cheetah Tote at a sale price that's a 13 by 13 so it holds the 12 by 12 type boxes uh storage organizational pages your albums all of that good stuff it does have a zipper top so you can opt to zipper that closed which is different than the lowest tote which is an open top tote we have those in black and uh, purple, turquoise, but this particular one is limited edition. It's got that really cool print on it and it does zip closed, which is a great feature. There's also some different interior pockets as well. Then we've got that ditto tabletop tote in turquoise on sale at a phenomenal price. Uh, and that is a color that's going away. They're only going to carry it in black now. So if you haven't gotten it in a color before, this is the time to do it. Then we have the a uh, glue gun holder, it's also great for ATG or other type of uh, adhesive runners to store it upright on your desktop along with pens, scissors, all that good stuff at a really great discount. The Triangle Travelers, another item we have in storage and organization, which is not only discounted, you're, we're throwing in the, the six different stickles in with it. So it's like 56% off of retail price, which is a phenomenal deal for Black Friday. So you get that black triangle traveler, which ha has like the um, three different pockets that Velcro in their clear pockets and you can remove them. There's other pockets for pens, scissors, that type of thing. And then the six stickles as well, uh, which is a glitter glue. Then we've got the tricolor brush ombre, which is an alcohol marker, 18 piece set. And that's going with the uh, buddy bag, the Sarah buddy bag that stores all of the markers in there. That's a great deal. It's a significantly discounted off of retail. We've got the fab file storage set in 12 by 12, the dynamic die storage. What else? We've got a whole bunch of like different buddy bag type bundles, 30% off. And then the brand new toolboxes, those were just introduced like two weeks ago. We've got some bundle deals, either having them in sets of three, or we've got them in sets with the coordinating uh, magnetic pages and the die storage like pockets that go with in bundles that are discounted, or you can get them individually as well. So let's take you to the next category. I'm, let's see here, I'm backing up. So you can see what that is. Why is this not working? There we go. Coloring and stamping and hot buys. That's another category. We've got, oh my goodness, we have the tri-blend six-piece alcohol marker. So it's six-piece, but there's three shades per pen. So we are talking about 18 shades in a box set. You're choosing three different sets from the drop-down menu, all at 50% 
ah, there's a whole different host of sets to choose from. They're all at half price for Black Friday. That's a great deal to get you started with the alcohol marker coloring or to complete the set you currently have. Then we've got the Favorite Ink Trio. This is, these are my three favorite inks that do everything. The Stazon, which is a solvent or alcohol-based ink, great for watercolor. We've got the Memento, which is a dye or water-based ink, perfect for alcohol markers. And then we've got the Pigment Ink Pad in Glacier White from Ranger, which will show up quite vividly and more of an opaque finish on dark colors. So you can stamp on black, which is really great. So that is discounted as a trio. We've also got the Nina uh, paper, the Nina cardstock, which is perfect for alcohol markers. We're pairing that with a blender pen at a discounted price. Uh, and then we've got some really great pen bundles. We've got the must have pen bundle, which includes three of the Uniball Sigmo, Signo pens, which are my favorites for writing on dark cardstock or just correcting things like the white is really essential to have, along with uh, the, what do we have, a black glaze pen in there. We've got a snow marker in there and the Jelly Roll Stardust, which shows up on anything as well. We've got a four piece bundle of snow markers. We've got outliner markers. Oh my gosh. Ink pads, the finesse, either for watercolor or for alcohol. And those are in bundles of four, meaning you get black, which of course you want to stamp in black, which is great outline. But then there's also like rustic brown for more of a vintage look. There's the pebble or the flagstone, which gives you more of a natural gray, which mimics like if you were to have more of a pencil outline, it's more of a subtle outline. So then when you're either coloring or watercoloring or whatever type of media you're using to fill in your image, that outline kind of disappears, your colors really pop. It's really a great uh, thing to stamp in versus just basic black. So those bundles are nice because you're getting a variety of colors in there and it's suitable, like I said, for either alcohol marker coloring or for water coloring. We've got a blender pen bundle in a three pack, which is great. The And then we've got some watercolor things. The Alta New watercolor set is discounted. That's a nice 36 pan watercolor. We've got the new, brand new from Crafters Companion, the Shimmering Watercolor Palette. Uh, that is in either, I think it's Moonbeam or Sunbeam, along with brushes. We've got uh, alcohol markers. What else? We've got, oh my gosh, there's just so much. The Hollyberry stamp set we talked about earlier in the video. And then I've got just um, a whole host of images that I've personally drawn. Uh, the home one is applicable to anybody, no matter where you are in the U.S. And this is like a pencil, a, like a soft gray outline of floral on watercolor cardstock. And you can color or paint that in. The home one, which is the house shape, works for literally anywhere. But then if you're specific to, if you live in either California, Arizona, or Texas, or the three states so far, which I have completed, I have to get coloring some more, but those three are done. Um, and then the home one uh, works for anybody. Okay, so let's go to next category. I'm backing up. See, I'm looking at this as you guys are. Glitter, foil, and stickles, steals. We've got that triangle traveler with the st six stickles I spoke of earlier. We've got a foil bundle, and you know how I love foil. If you've seen my videos throughout the uh, year in the One of a Kind group, you know I love foiling on any type of adhesive, glue pen on a tape runner, glue dots, foam shapes, anything. And this is a great four-piece bundle that's discounted. And in the drop-down menu, you can select what colors you would like. So that's great. You can pick all the same color as all four pieces, but it is up to you. It's discounted, and that will work on anything, not just with a fancy dancing machine, but with any type of adhesive. And then we've got the glue pen to coordinate with that. Uh, the cleanup cloth we have discounted as well for Black Friday, and that is great to pick up not only glitter, but uh, really fine like embossing powders, uh, flocking snow for that matter, anything. And then we have a whole host of not just uh, the glitter paste, but the stickles. We have stickles discounted all of the colors um, that you could ever want. So we've got that. Uh, next categories, tools. So these are some of my favorite tools I've put on sale. Of course, if you're in need for a die cutting machine, we've got the Gemini Original, which is a 9 by 12 platform really big great for doing border dies and stuff sometimes you need that bigger platform if you're doing full-on scrapbooking and you need you have bigger longer dies 
that need that type of platform. This is a great price on that machine. And they're actually discontinuing these machines. They're going to a different model. So this is kind of a last chance that we'll have to have that for you. Uh, we've got the Gemini Mini, which I spoke of too. And that is also in this category, along with some of my favorite tools, including um, an ink pad handle, a Hero Arts uh, handy holder to on your desktop, have your like ink blending brushes, pens, scissors, all that type of thing. We've got the mini trimmer, which is one of my favorites that does like a seven by three, essentially. It's like a card maker trimmer. That's discounted um, along with some other goodies like the brush tool. Um, we've got the junior plates, which are great for if you don't want warping. It's a great alternative to clear plates if you've got a Gemini Junior or a full size. So you can buy the junior plates, um, orient them in a different, um, in the, just more of a landscape, and then you can have that go through your junior machine as well, or your full size machine, either way. So that's a really great thing. And then the last category we have is uh, the mystery bundles category. We've got Mystery Bundle A, B, C, 1, and 2. And then I threw the gift bag uh, paper pads in there, too. Those are those gift bags, uh, either Christmas, which, of course, everybody needs the Christmas one, or there's two uh, varieties of floral. They're pre-scored. They're pre-cut. They're pre-scored. You don't even need a ruler. You're just folding along the score lines, a little bit of adhesive. And you've got essentially like a, I think it's like 7 by 3, by two is the dimension on that really great gift bags with coordinating tags makes your gift giving really super easy great for cookie giving all that kind of stuff and then as far as the mystery bundles oh my goodness like stamps dies you can see like it's going to be a mystery but they're severely discounted i have yet to have a person in the, all the years that we've done mystery bundles i've yet to have a person go wow i wasn't too excited about that no everybody loves our mystery bundles we pack a whole lot of goodness in there uh and uh you're just and the frame dies particularly you're going to get some either like the fancy dies or the regular dies all kinds of good stuff you don't want to miss out so please check out all of the great stuff. And then if you aren't on our email list, go to our homepage and scroll all the way down and you will see mailing list, enter your address and subscribe. That was a lot of stuff. That was a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm glad you hung out with me today. It's I know it's been a fun day of projects, demos, sales, specials, just crafting fun after the big holiday. Just a great time to kind of recoup, recharge, and get our creative juices going. So I'm really glad you joined me. The website again, shopbecreative.com, and you'll find all the specials. You'll find all the deals. And uh, what else? I guess I'll see you. Gosh, I think I'll see you next year. So if I don't hear from you before then, I hope you have a very great December holiday season, and I'll see you in 2024. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.